Hi, welcome to your J Flight SLX 183RB by Jayco. Congratulations on your new purchase. Let's take a little bit of time to do a little bit of a walk around and show you some of the features of your new trailer. We'll start on the outside of the unit and at the front of the trailer. Here you can see your propane bottle. in our cr propane cover. Uh, this is a single regulator uh, propane system. This is also where your battery is stored and your manual tongue jack. Of note is the safety uh, breakaway for the trailer braking system. Uh, it's important to make sure that this is connected to uh, your vehicle. So let's move around to the side of the trailer. Here we have the filling station for your fresh water tank and the low point drain for your fresh water tank. We have the back of the AC unit here. We continue on the outside of your trailer. We'll come to the city water connection. So if you're at the RV park and you uh, are just going to hook right up to the water, this is the connection you need. As well on this side we have the input for the cable TV and uh, end or satellite. As well we have the outside access to your hot water tank. The hot water tank can run either on elect electricity or on the gas. Uh, we have the drain plug and the high pressure vent or relief valve. Uh, here is the burner system. So you'll see a pilot here when using gas. Uh, you do not need to light this uh, system. It uh, lights itself. And I'll show you that on the inside. Also of note, down below here, you'll see your black water and gray water valves and the outlet for both of those, as well as the cap for here. Right beside there, we have one of the two stabilizing jacks. It's important that you level the trailer first and then engage these jacks to for stability. They're not meant to actually level the trailer itself. Here we have the 30 amp uh, power connection for your trailer. Uh, it comes, comes with a uh, large length of cord, as you can see. So you should have no problems uh, uh, reaching the outlet when you need power. We come to the other side or the door side of your trailer once again. Of note here we'll notice the these two areas. Uh, this provides venting and drainage for your uh, fridge. It's important that you don't cover this up again because it does provide venting for the fridge. Here we have a plug so you could uh, have some music or uh, anything you might want to plug in on the outside of the trailer. Uh, you should be aware that this does get hot uh, as that is the furnace vent. Um, you will notice too that on the speakers or on the uh, awning, sorry, they have speakers uh, that can be controlled from the radio inside the trailer. So now let's uh, go inside your new trailer and see what uh, features we have. First off, this is your uh, carbon monoxide and propane gas alarm. It's important every once in a while to press this button here just to test to make sure it is functioning properly still. <coughs> we'll turn to the main bedroom of the unit. There is 
storage under the bed that can also be accessed from the outside. This is where the crank, manual crank for your uh, stabilizing jacks are located. You also notice right here that we have your fresh water tank storage. Here we have the air conditioning for this unit. Uh, it has an economy mode as well as uh, high, low and medium settings. It does a good job of cooling down this trailer. Here we have a uh, emergency exit. It's pretty simple to operate. You can do it with one hand. Push down on this. Lift up the red handle. Push the handle all the way out until it's right out of the unit. Remove the screen and you may exit safely. So we're going to come to the kitchen and dining area of this trailer. Of note here, some under cabinet lighting, and these are some of the main controls for your trailer. We have the lighting for the trailer, the awning light, as you can see there, and the control for the awning itself. You also notice here is that you have the control to uh, for the slide as well and your indicator panel that will show the levels of your battery your fresh water your black water and your gray water tanks and this is what I was mentioning earlier we have access for the water heater for either electric or gas so you don't have to go out and light the pilot uh, we also have a switch to engage the water pump. That water pump is used to uh, draw fresh water from the uh, fresh water tank when you're not hooked up to city water. Coming here, we have your range top. Uh, you will need to light this. Barbecue lighter works well. Coming down here, we have the furnace and we have the power sender for the unit. It has all your breakers and all your fuses. Moving on to the fridge. You'll notice that the fridge has an on and off. When the button's pressed in, the, unit, the fridge is on. Here we have uh, another button and this switches you from auto, which will switch between gas or electric uh, automatically, or if you press the button and it comes out, that will uh, indicate that it's searching or trying to use the gas. So right now the gas is turned off. So if we waited long enough, it wouldn't be able to light via the propane and it would flash and say to check. So it has a warning indicator to let you know if the propane isn't working properly. Coming up here, you'll see that we have a spot for your TV. It has a uh, cable input for the TV. Uh, there's also a button here that will switch you between antenna and cable or satellite. Uh, if you find that the cable isn't working, the satellite isn't working, then try pressing this button. That may fix your issue. We have a radio, which comes with a remote and also Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, you will also notice there is a HDMI port and a USB port. And another feature to note is the Zone 1 and Zone 2. Zone 1 will be the inside of your trailer. Zone 2 will be the speakers that are on the awning outside. You can have them both on at the same time or either one on or off. So we'll come into the uh, bathroom of the trailer. I uh, already took the access panel off, but it's just two screws. One here, one here. Here here and under here we have a couple important things one we have access to the back of your hot water tank it's here that you have a valve one here and one up top here that will switch it between basically winter and summer mode 
or another way to look at it, it will bypass the tank. Uh, here we have your water pump that I've showed you uh, over there that have the switch to switch it on. Um, here we have the same idea. We have a valve that will switch uh, which where the pump is drawing from. Right now it's in summer mode so it's uh, it's going to draw from the fresh water tank if you uh, if you want to. Uh, if you switch it to winter mode it'll draw from this tube which will uh, allow you to put antifreeze into the unit and winterize the unit. We also have manual vents in the main portion of the trailer as well as the bathroom. There's also a smoke detector in this unit which if you press and hold the center button you can test to make sure it is functioning properly. That's it for our tour. I hope you enjoyed enjoy your new trailer uh, for many years to come. Uh, thank you again for choosing Christie's and Jayco.